Now, Cartoon Animator 5 has an immense library of assets that you can use, which means more dynamic puppets and quicker animation for content creators. So, let's have a look at what's on offer. Now, over here in the content window, we've got animation and we've got 2D, 3D, face, performance, um, deform. There are lots of content resources for Cartoon Animator. Here, I especially want to highlight three new packs. Um, the puppet stage at the top right is a puppet stage trigger demo. And the two on the first row is Cartoon Puppet and an anime puppet. So the Cartoon Puppet pack contains lots of cartoon animation styles. <laughs> Here's a nice little jump action. And if I really like that, and for whatever reason, I want the character to be able to do that whenever I fancy it, if I just uh, select my character now and go back into puppet stage, I'll show you how easy it is to add. You simply find the action that you like and you drop it into your trigger um, window. So let's get that one and let's get that one. And then that's it. Now I'm going to combine a facial animation and a body movement to form a mix trigger action. First, let's open the active portion panel. The camera icon means that the puppet's head is being controlled by motion capture. I can press V to trigger my welcome animation and I can press B to trigger my cheering movement, which also contains my happy face trigger. You can mix and match all the different face and body animations to create lots of exciting triggers and this means that your animation is going to be really, really dynamic. You can save your custom trigger settings into your puppet stage profile and then you can load those saved settings into any other character that you have. To learn how best to set up your own triggers, make sure to explore those three puppet packs that I mentioned. There's lots of different puppet profiles to explore.